Will Sri Lanka face a general election first? Or will it be a presidential election? This topic has been on top of multiple debates and discussions in the recent past. And Dithmini, although it's not ideal and it shouldn't be the case, it still remains a question to many among the general public here in Sri Lanka. So what will be the next election that we will face? We're crossing over to Mariam Gunavijaya for a report on just that. So the million dollar question is, will we face a general election first or is it going to be a presidential election? Just like Dithmini said, this topic has been on the top of much debates and discussions because of a statement that was made by the founder of the SRPP, Basil Rajapaksa, recently. So the president had assured earlier this year that uh, Sri Lanka will face a presidential election first. But when a founder of the Sri Lanka Podujana Peramuna Basil Rajapaksa returned to Sri Lanka from uh, America, he told the media that um, it is uh, better to hold a general election first. And since then, this uh, topic has been facing much scrutiny. But uh, newspapers uh, today reported that uh, President Ranil Vikramasinghe has in fact assured that we will face a presidential election first. Daily Mirror reported uh, that uh, President Ranil Vikramasinghe has said that uh, Sri Lanka will be able to face uh, the presidential election by the first week of October. Uh, the report added that uh, President Ranil Vikramasinghe has hinted his uh, close associates and his cabinet that the presidential election will be held as scheduled, indicating the failure of uh, Basil Rajapaksa in convincing the president to hold the general election first. So, is it a general election or is it a presidential election that we will face first? Today, the media questioned uh, the chairman of the United National Party, Vajra Bevadana, on this matter. Let's take a look at what he had to say. When's the election? The cabinet spokesperson expressed these views at the media briefing to announce cabinet decisions today. That wasn't discussed at the recent cabinet meeting. In fact, at a previous cabinet meeting, the president made it clear that the constitution does not allow for postponing elections. It was also confirmed that the necessary funds are allocated in the 2024 budget. This was explicitly stated in the cabinet papers. Prakashana 